Hi everyone, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. It's haul time, and I have a lot of items to share with you, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I had made a purchase with Sephora a while ago, and I really wanted to try out the um, original Beauty Blender. And it comes in a container like this, um, and mine is dirty because I've been using it. And after using it, I'm like, I should have bought the cleanser that came with it. But um, it's just an egg-shaped sponge, and it has the most soft texture ever. It's it's latex-free, but it just has like this wonderful. Um, texture. I just, I, it's so like sensual, but like not in a sexual way. It just feels so good. And what you do is that you just wet it under some water. You actually get it waterlogged and then you squeeze all the excess out until um, it's just damp. And then you use this to stipple on your foundation. And I've really enjoyed this. The um, main reason for my purchase from Sephora was because um, I've decided just to go ahead and invest in a really good eye cream um, that will help the, um, look of fine lines and wrinkles. So I had purchased the DDF Advanced Eye Firming Concept. This is what the container looks like. Um, I had shown this item in my very recent nighttime skincare routine video and um, for as much money as I did spend on this item, I don't know what that was. Um, it's a plastic jar so I kind of feel like it should be glass so it can, it can actually feel a little bit more luxurious and actually worth all the money that I had spent on it. Um, but anyways, um, it comes like this, so you get like 0.5 fluid ounces, and it's just an off-white, heavy, thick cream. I've been using it for the past week and a half, and um, I haven't really seen any results yet, but I think I have to wait a little bit longer. Um, the scent smells disgusting, but hopefully I can oversee that once, um, you know, I've been using this for at least a few weeks to see if I have any results. I'm very sad to say that my Sunny Bronzer, my NYC Sunny Bronzer, has been breaking me out and so um, I've had lots of breakouts where I do contour. So I decided that I should probably just go ahead and invest in a different bronzer, a nice matte one just for contour. Lancome one in the color Sun Bath. And I really like the packaging and I don't know if you guys can see this but when you open the compact it's totally worth it. Watch. And it stays like that, so you're not like fumbling with the compact to like hold it like this or hold it like this. It just stays open. It's a beautiful product. So with that, I finally became like a VIB or chose the Tarte stuff. I don't know if I have everything in here. I don't. Um, oh well. Um, the, one of the items in here is the uh, Lip Surgeons um, lipsticks in the matte finish, and it was like in this beautiful red color. It's okay. Um, I really don't like the feeling of matte lipsticks. For retro looks, yes, it's very good, but um, I'm very underwhelmed with it. It also came with this Smooth Operator um, Finishing Powder, which I haven't used yet, um, but I think I might eventually. Um, it comes also with a bronzer in the color Park Avenue Princess. And it's... Um, relatively matte but there is definitely some noticeable shimmer in there it's very very small it's very finely milled and um, I'm not sure if I would use it particularly for contouring but definitely just for all over color if and when I do decide to do that um, the next item is this emphasize uh, inner rim eye pencil so I guess it's just um, specially formulated for the waterline and the last thing that was in here is a silicone free primer with wrinkle rewind technology. So it's supposed to make me look younger, I guess. Um, I haven't used it. I might. I should. Um, so that was like the 500 point bonus um, for VIB people. And then, um, of course, they give you uh, three free samples. So I got the um, Burberry body uh, perfume. Um, the Givenchy uh, Fluid Foundation, Photo Perfection, so I'm going to try that. And the Basha Enlivening Eye Treatment. So that would be fun for like a to-go thing. 
Now some random products that I had purchased um, was some Maybelline things. I don't know, I'm all about Maybelline lately. Um, I got the Lash Discovery, which uh, is the mini brush in the water that comes with a mini brush. And this is really fantastic. I like to follow up my regular mascara with this and it really does help separate um, my lashes and help them look a little bit longer than they really are. So I really like this product so far. The next Maybelline product is this Baby Lips uh, Lip Balm, I guess is what they're called. It's in the color Cherry Me. <laughs> and it looks really pigmented, but it's just a very sheer balm. Nail polishes that I picked up, um, I got three of them. Uh, the first, now a couple of these items I had purchased because of uh, Beauty with Kendra. Um, she is like the most influential person ever. Like I feel like I always buy things after I watch her videos. So the first thing is this color, um, this color, this nail polish in the color Aquadelic from China Glaze. And I love this. I wore it to work one day and I got so many compliments and that's really fantastic. It's a great color. I absolutely adore it. I definitely recommend it for spring and summer. And the next two I got were, um, uh, Revlon and Sally Hansen and the Revlon one is called Bold Sangria. And I don't have a shade like this. It's like an eggplant, um, but on your fingers it looks more like of a wine shade, but in the bottle it looks purpley. But sometimes like in the sun you can see more of the purple hint. It's gorgeous. And on top of that, for an accent nail, um, the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Ice Queen Glitter looks awesome. So I really like that. Um, Next, more Beauty by Kendra influences. Um, I actually have fallen the off the wagon for like taking a multivitamin and so I went ahead and I picked up some from my health food store so that's not very exciting but you know, vitamins are good for you. Um, but the one thing I did pick up was um, some fish oil capsules and it's supposed to help with your skin and your hair and I kind of need that stuff right now. So um, I've got these and they're in the burp free uh, formula so you may want to pick that up if you're interested in getting some fish oil caplets because apparently you burp up the taste of fish oil and it's pretty nasty. Okay so that's that. Went to MAC and Sephora and at MAC um, I went there because I was running out of cleanse off oil so I had purchased another one and I also ended up picking up two different eyeshadows in the color Sable which I don't have a color like this and I really wanted something that was kind of like a coppery shade but more on the brown side. It's so pretty. It's kind of like Smog from Urban Decay but it has more of a golden shimmer to it and I really like that. So almost like a peachy tone to it. So that was definitely a great purchase on my behalf. I think. And then one color that I've been wanting for a long time is the color Handwritten, which is a purplish brown matte shade. And it's really great because it's just so pigmented. And um, it's great for using as a contouring shade or even like to do like an outer V smoky eye. So I've always wanted this color and I finally acquired it and I'm very happy with it. Tender Tone Lip Balms, and so I got it in the color Hush Hush because the one I wanted, which was like the bright uh, red one, which I kind of just got this instead because I couldn't find it, um, I got it in the color Hush Hush, which is this beautiful peachy shade, and I'm sure like many of you have seen these already, and so, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like candy. I love stuff that smells like candy because it makes me hungry. So there's the MAC stuff, and then at Sephora I had purchased something that was very luxurious, um, and it was a YSL uh, lip balm, well it's a lip color, and it's their Volupte Sheer Candy um, colors, and they're actually a very expensive version of the Maybelline Baby Lip stuff, and I got it in the color... Um, Tangy Tangerine. I'm wearing it right now and I really like it. And I mean, can I tell you how gorgeous this packaging is? Absolutely sexy. Love this stuff. So that was my very extravagant purchase yesterday. But I also wanted to go to Sephora because I wanted another um, fragrance and I ended up getting the Especially Escada. Um, 
and it comes in this gorgeous expensive looking bottle I love it so I got that and then I also got a um, this uh, fragrance at atomizer so you can like fill this up and bring it with you and like in your purse and the people the TSA won't take it away from you so those are my purchases um, I hope you guys had fun um, taking a look at the stuff that I have been using lately so if you have any further questions regarding anything that I had purchased feel free to add a comment down below or you can tell me the stuff that you picked up lately that you think that I should try so thank you again for watching everyone and I hope everyone has a great day take care everyone bye